Am I the asshole? For refusing to honor my boyfriend's family's tradition? My boyfriend Eric 29M, fake name and I have been dating for three years. For context, I have met his family and they are friendly. We don't meet them very often because they live in my BF's home country. I don't want to reveal country names either for privacy reasons but my BF and I are of different nationalities and we both work in my country. The conflict happened during our last visit last weekend. We have been looking up houses to move in together and engagement rings. While we were having dinner, we mentioned this to his family as it's a big step in our relationship for us we are not engaged yet. His parents and brothers expressed their happiness for us then out of nowhere his youngest still asked so is she going to take the test? I asked what test? In summary, BF's family has this tradition where the future mill tests future daughters-in-law to see if they are good enough for her sons. Apparently, his mother and aunts went through the same test. The tests include how clean they can keep a home, how well they can cook, their manners, etc. Basically life skills most people learn from childhood. I found it ridiculous because 1. If I'm good enough for my boyfriend, he should be the one deciding it. And 2. I don't fit in their targeted category. In his mom's words, you can't be a good sahu and stay at home mother if you can't be a good homemaker and she wants to make sure of that. To be clear, his mom and all three of his brother's wives are stay at home mother s and although I respect their choice, I am not quitting my career and did not under any circumstances make my bf think I could compromise on that. I hate house chores and I would rather buy home making gadgets and hire staff no matter the cost than have to do chores myself. I told my BF's mom all this and it caused an argument that eventually ruined dinner and in extension our visit. BF doesn't care whether I'm a working wife or a sahu but he thinks I should have just done the test because it's just a test and it's not like they would reject me if I failed it. He thinks it's a fun tradition that everyone was looking forward to and I should have gone along with it anyways. My boyfriend thinks I'm the R and suggested I make this post. If I really am the asshole, I'm sure you guys will let me know so am I. Edit adding this as it's been coming up. I know disclosing the country may or may not bring up some unwanted arguments that will violate the rules here. But just for context, it's a family tradition not a national culture. Absolutely not the asshole. Your boyfriend is an R for thinking this outdated, sexist and demeaning tradition is in any way okay. His family is an arrogant bag of ass for thinking you need to jump through hoops to prove you're worthy of him. Hell would freeze over before I took part in the Lady Skills Olympics for the amusement of my boyfriend's family. I find it appalling that, not only does he think the tradition is acceptable. He is also trying to pressure you to submit to this frankly bizarre request. No. Just no. Not the asshole. What test is your boyfriend going to take to prove he's good enough for you? Not the asshole. It sounds demeaning and patronizing as hell. If your BF thinks you're good enough for him, you shouldn't have to prove yourself to anyone else. Not the asshole. How undelightfully last century of that's where this test needs to be trashed at. You were right and completely not the asshole to refuse this test. If your BF isn't going to call BS on stuff this obviously problematic, you should consider how he's going to handle meaningful conflicts with his family. I wouldn't say this is a deal breaker, but you should consider much more carefully what being married to him is going to be like with regards to his relationship with his family. Not the asshole. Here are some tests your BF should undergo in return. Build a tree house for your hypothetical children. If you're child free, he can build a kennel. Repair pipes and fix lighting. Mow lawns. Carry hefty bags of sand from one area to another just cause. And of course, he must give you his entire salary and draw an allowance since we are going all 1950s here. Not the asshole no tests. We don't need to perpetuate sexist traditions. Where's his test that he'll be a good husband? Not the asshole people need to understand respecting one's beliefs does not mean compromising your own.
Your boyfriend told you to make this that backfired on him. Not the asshole. He is for going along with a stupid misogynistic tradition. Not the asshole if your BF knew they would expect this from you he should have given you a heads up and let you know that it's not serious but he would appreciate it if you went along with it, and it would mean a lot to his family. Then you would have had the opportunity to think about it rather than possibly offending his family causing any conflict with your gut response. For avoidance of any doubt, I absolutely would not be taking this test either and think you had every right to express your feelings on the matter. Not the asshole. That's a really awful stereotype that they want you to play into. It doesn't matter if it's a fun tradition for them it's not fun for you, and that's what matters here. How about you test them on skills related to your job? Tell them that you want to make sure they're good enough to be your in-laws p. Honestly, as a pretty traditional guy myself, I'd feel awkward having my GF go through such tests. These are really non-essential traits, especially considering I prefer to cook for myself. On top of that, it's me, who decides, whether someone's a good enough partner for me. I don't need permission from anyone else. Not the asshole. Natar. The word test is enough to see that they take it seriously enough to hold it against you at some point of frustration or in some snide remarks that family seem to feel entitled to make. For example his parents come visit you in your home, the house isn't as clean as the mother would like it to be, something along the lines of what can I expect when she didn't pass the test, maybe she needs to learn better. If your BF does not see how fucked up this test is and how stuck it is in the 1920s then I would start rethinking this relationship. This is not just an in-law problem this is a BF problem. He's essentially saying that his so-called fun little family tradition is more important than your comfort by saying you should have just put up with it. Not the asshole, but holy fun? Pretty sure your boyfriend should be the one taking any stupid test with his family. Not the asshole. 1875 called and wants its test back. It's fun for the boyfriend because he isn't the one being treated like a domestic servant before getting the family's blessing. I'm actually curious as to how the test works. Does Mill mess up the kitchen and watches and scores the candidate clipboard in hand? Do all women who already passed sit and watch? Are the men there too? Either way, it's humiliating and degrading. Ain't nobody grading me out of ten how well I'm up the floor. Not the asshole that's not a fun tradition of they got that pissed off about it. Not the asshole. That test sounds awful. Also, monthly games night is a fun family tradition not misogynistic outdated tests. This is a hill to die on. Not the asshole but I'm the type of petty MF that would invite them over while the staff are cleaning and microwave them some frozen dinner and say it's good enough. Your BF said it doesn't matter and they won't reject you so it would be fun to call them on it. Sounds like you two have a lot of cultural expectations you need discuss before going much further. Like not getting ambushed by medieval tests of wifely abilities by the future in-laws.